Hey everybody, welcome back to the boat shop. You can see that uh, Jackson and Maggie are very eager to get started. Um, quick update here, just thought I'd show you some things that I think are interesting. One of the main things I think is interesting is that our snow is melting. Um, man, am I excited about that. This is not common for here. All right, so you guys are gonna laugh at me, um, but uh, here's today's update. Uh, right. I don't really know why I did this. Um, actually, I do know why. But anyway, I set up an easy up in my shop and put a bunch of plastic on it. And now, welcome to M5 Performance Paint Booths. You may see that wall is kind of sucking in just a little bit. I don't know. It's unbelievable. But, uh, Here's the uh, high performance duct work, which holds a box fan. Uh huh. Yeah. Check this out. Of course, we have our filtration system together with our integral uh, uh, heating uh, UL approved high performance, high flow uh, heater. Of course, your doorway here is weighted and has uh, magnets for ultra positive, um, uh, keeps out 99.9% .9 of all small dogs doorway. Bingo, doors closed. Welcome to the interior. Of course it's lighted, yes. fans on the low speed right now <laughs> it's unbelievable I mean it's sucking the walls in like you wouldn't believe um, nice and warm in here we'll uh, next step is we're gonna come in here and mop you know and make it all real nice I see the duct tape all the way around here I know what you're thinking I know what you're thinking man this is gonna suck <laughs> when I pull all that duct tape up and the floor is covered with uh, leftover residue but hey there it is now back to the reason I built it I hate painting I really do and I think I'm putting it off uh, today is a uh, tape day and with any luck we'll start shooting um, and it's it's going to look kind of like that when it's done yeah um, all right, so anyway, here's something I thought was uh, maybe interesting. A couple little things. Uh, people have asked about uh, my cowl mounting mechanism. I think I may have shown you before, but never kind of during the build part of it. Uh, this one, I broke one of my rules a little bit. Uh, I am pinning the cowling front and then down. Uh, the reason that's a breaking of the rule, yeah, I, what I like to do is I like to have the pin going the other direction so that the cowl would, uh, let me grab it here, would, would slide onto the pin and then latch down. The beauty of that is when you hit hard rollers or whatever, the cowling isn't going anywhere. With this mechanism here, when I, when I clip it from the front and then down, a real hard roller can dislodge it. Um, and that stinks. And so, so that you'll see how I mount them here. Just a simple little cross piece and a couple of magnets. But there's little tabs See that little tab sticking up there? That tab will fit behind each of these magnets. And it kind of prevents the cowling from sliding forward uh, and sliding the magnets to a disengagement point. I want you to notice something else. Always do this. See how the magnet sits fairly below the cowling? And these are set below the deck. That is for the same reason, again, uh, remember magnets will slide apart pretty easily, but they're really hard to pull apart. They'll slide apart sideways easily too. So if you have these up at the level of the deck, you know, you're doing your thing on the water and the cowling can slide off uh, and you'll lose it. So this way, can't slide, shouldn't slide forward. It might. If it does, I'll make a bigger tab or something. Uh, this isn't finalized yet. I'll do some fillet work around these and, and get them glued on really, really well. But I just popped this off after putting this in place last night. I built this cross piece. 
I put the magnets on it and I snap it down into the boat and then you apply your epoxy on here and on the back side of the cross piece and then simply put your cowling in place which if I can do this while looking at a screen okay we're on the plate and you let go now and BAM I mean that thing just snaps on there but when you're gluing it of course I mark it and I pre-wet the back side of the cowling with that cross piece just lay in in place and then set the cowling on and I put a couple of weights on here you know to hold it in place and walk away overnight um, and it glues itself real nice and you're good to go in the morning here's one thing if you do this don't forget this step make a hole this will wind up getting cut out on this boat um, it's completely cut out in the back by the way can you see that you can kind of see the blower inside and a, and a couple of nitrous bottles if anyone can make me a picture of that I'll just stick a picture of it up inside here, put a plate or something up inside there. I think that would look so cool. I don't really want to build those pieces and put them in there. I don't think I have to. Uh, it's not exposed at all uh, in the boat, so uh, uh, to be legal in the rules, uh, that doesn't need to be there. Uh, but I think it'd be really cool if you could look up in there and kind of see it. But anyway, back to the hole. So this will wind up getting cut out, so it didn't bother me to make a hole. If you don't make a hole, you glue this thing on here, uh, you're gonna be hating life because you, you'll have to really dig at it to get the thing off. It, uh, these magnets, they work. Um, this is gonna hurt. You've got to be able to push on the deck and lift up on the cowl to get it loose. Um, the front, the pin, I got really lazy. I'm crazy weight conscious. I put a big old block in there. I don't know why I do this. You know what, I, I, I go nuts trying to make the uh, boat as light as I can. I'm real. I think uh, epoxy is like the biggest killer. So, so uh, you know, if you leave a lot of excess, if you're sloppy about how you put a boat together, all that excess epoxy adds up to a lot of weight. So I'm real careful about making real fine fillets and that kind of stuff. Uh, but then I build the cowling and I'm like, eh, put a big old chunk of wood in the front, man. All right, stupid, but there it is, okay? Don't do what I did, but I did that because it was really fast. It was really easy, and I guess I was kidding myself, thinking, well, that makes some support if I hit stuff, but uh, uh, that only going to hit something if, uh, if the object gets through the uh, canard. Uh, so I hope that doesn't happen. Oh, I wanted to show you something else. Does that cover that? All right, you got that? It's real simple. Uh, these are one-half by one-inch by one-eighth magnets from KJ Magnetics. Uh, look them up online. It'll blow your mind. Uh, all kinds of uh, information there. The reason I told you that, okay, one half by one inch by one eighth is because there's probably, uh, I don't know how many, but there are thousands of different versions of magnets. And if you like this uh, and want to use it as counter, countersunk, you put little uh, 440 screws in there. Those are aluminum, by the way. So that's all it takes to hold it. Again, super weight conscious, right? But then you put in a giant chunk. Stupid. All right. But anyway, uh, that's that. Now, painting. Hate it, right? Hate it. A lot of tape work to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint that white stripe. I, I don't believe in pinstriping. Uh, stinks. Sucks. Uh, but you might see the boat is up off of the uh, table. Super cool deal. Uh, I don't hang the boat to paint it. Uh, I don't know why. I guess I like this because I can really see... And when I clear it and my clear isn't running down the boat, I can just run it off the bottom if it starts to run. Um, but here's how I do that. You'll see a couple screws in uh, the motor mount holes. By the way, don't let me forget to tape up these holes. If I forget that and I paint color in here, uh, I'm just going to be hating life and all this back here. I'm going to review this video before I shoot, and then I will remember that. Uh, anyway, I made a little... Uh, yellow this one last did its thing on the eliminator here's how I do that I made little studs and just a little piece of angle and just holds the boat up off of the table real nice single stud on the back that's all you need and when I flip the boat over the other way I mean I'll put some stuff standing inside here that it'll stand on but this is for when obviously after I've shot the bottom and then I flip it over to shoot the top you don't want to you don't want to lay the sponsons down on the table. You know, you got to support it somehow. What are you going to do? Uh, it's just kind of a quick and easy way to do that. And uh, uh, so thought I'd show you that. I don't know. 
Maybe it's stupid. You've probably got a better way. If you do, by the way, when you get ideas, put them in the comments down here. Some of you have uh, been following my stuff and making some really nice comments, really helpful stuff, and I appreciate that. Uh, okay, I think that's all I got, which is really unfortunate because that means I've got to start taping so that I can put that uh, super awesome paint booth to use. Anybody in the area, by the way, if you need to shoot and you want a booth, I got one. Um, I'm going to leave it up for a while because I'm going to be shooting this, uh, this Madison over here. I've got to obviously sand it down and so on. I did a bunch of repairs on it, 10th scale electric. Um, I'll wind up shooting that boat and whatever else you guys bring over uh soon so this is going to be my life for the next several hours oh. oh it stinks all right hey thanks for checking in uh anything you guys would like to see or stuff you want to know uh again shoot me a comment like the page page like the video if you liked it uh that'll help more guys uh see some information and uh, maybe it'll help them too okay all right, go build something. Stop watching videos. Get after it. All right, dog says it's time to go to work.